Skiing is amazing. It's crisp, it's fun. People who can ski, it's like people that can fly. There's nothing else like it. There's nothing in the world that gets you away from the world than being at the top of the mountain. You don't think about your last operation or a patient that you're concerned about. Each time you go out, you want to do a little better, reach new heights. But of course, you still want to make it to work on Monday morning. I mean, at the end of the day, no matter how hard you go after it, you still want to be able to walk back to your car. It doesn't seem like too much to ask. With over 70,000 ACL injuries related to skiing each year, um, this uh, creates a substantial uh, problem to the medical community. Knee binding has solved this problem. You have to really think about that number. 70,000 every year. This has been going on for 20 years. And none of the other binding companies have ever done anything about it. Most knee injuries on skis happen because the skier starts to fall backwards and intuitively bends his hips and knees. Your hip locks in one direction. Now you could, for instance, take your right foot and rotate it all the way up on top of your left knee. But you can't rotate your foot to the outside. If you happen to catch an inside edge in this position, the tail and the tip of the ski bite into the snow like shovels and pull your foot sideways, ripping your knee apart. It happens to every kind of skier on every kind of terrain and every kind of condition. There are lost days on the mountain and in the sports. There's lost time at work. There's months of rehab and surgery. Nobody I know who's had an ACL injury has ever been able to tell me that their knee has been as good as it was. No matter what graft you put inside the knee, it's never as strong as your original ACL. Ordinary bindings have two major release methods, sideways at the toe or upwards and forwards at the heel. These have been standard on ordinary bindings for 40 years, and they do a good job of mitigating broken legs. But they don't do anything at all to prevent knee injuries. It's not a matter of how do you recover from the injury. That's dumb. The matter is, how do you keep from having the dumb injury? What's unique about the knee binding is that it's an innovative uh, design that's based on solid biomechanical principles. Knee binding has a patented third dimension of release that other bindings don't have. A pure lateral heel release. This knee binding releases prior to uh, the ACL tearing. Everybody who's on a pair of skis ought to be skiing on the safest thing they can be on. And I don't care if you're 12 years old or 20 years old or 75 years old. You don't want the injury. And in addition to that, the fact that it skis unbelievably well. Our lever edge technology provides the most stable platform possible and our flex float mounting system is the only floating mount system for flat skis on the planet. There is absolutely no logical reason why everybody shouldn't be on this bike. You get this rock solid binding with a whole new level of safety. Hopefully you don't drive without seat belts on anymore. Why would you take the chance? Well, this is your seat belt in skiing. I believe that the knee binding is a very positive step in the right direction to reducing ACL injuries in skiing. Every other binding company out there is focused on trying to help you walk up the hill. Knee binding wants to make sure you can walk away from it.